Hello everyone, this video is about some roads in Vietnam that have the most beautiful views you cannot ignore. Vietnam is believed to have lots of beautiful scenery, but in fact, they are more wonderful than what Vietnam tourism is exploring. We suggest you some roads that have the most perfect view for visitors coming to Vietnam by motorbikes to enjoy Vietnam. The first one is the road from Zuza to Mo Tuệ. It is a very wonderful and mystery road that most professional travelers do not even know. It was built to start Vietnam's war against China in 1979 and after the war it's not been reconstructed yet and only ethnic minorities people used it. Located to the south of the Van Cross Plateau, the road from Zuza to Mo Tuệ is also the main road and the off road as well. It is made of rocks and has its length of 60 km. It would take you 4 to 5 hours to overcome it and you'll see only some people going on the road. To overcome the road, you do not need a high-speed motorbike, but tools for repairing your tires in case they are luckily do not work. The road leads to Dong Van Cross Plateau in Ha Zen. We have introduced you the very detailed way how to get there in our post of Ha Zen Travel Guide. Now we'll move to the second one, the road from Iti to Ngai Tho, situated at the north of Sapa, which has become more popular and attracted more visitors. Iti and Ngai Tho are on the contrary quiet, unspoiled, and romantic. They are even more beautiful than Sapa and are the same favorite destinations for young Vietnamese travelers going by motorbikes. You will see clouds peach blossom and the nature of life of ethnic minorities there without reason. From October to February is the best time for a visit to there and when it's very cloudy and clouds densely embrace the mountains and the villages. There's a time of year in Iti when it snow heavily. To get to Iti, you need a motorbike it is from 90 to 110 kilometers and takes you two days. From Iti, you can go to Ngai Tho by a motorbike to and in a road of 10 kilometers. They are near to each other and you can see on the map. Ngai Tho is the best place for enjoying the clouds. There are no tourists or tour guides of tours to Sapa, but you can go there by a motorbike and follow our guide. There are some homestays at ET and you can have meals with the owners. There aren't any like travel services there also. Now we turn to the third one, the road from Winne to QL1. The road is the coastal road and you will see herds and farms in a road of 40 kilometers. This is not the main road so there aren't many vehicles there and you will never be lost in Winne because it has only one way to there. About your safety, do not worry because there are some houses of Vietnamese around the road. If you are in Mui Ne, shouldn't miss the road. Remember that you have to spend two days driving from Mui Ne and turning back. Now we'll come to the last one, the road of Ma Pi Liang Path. Consider one of the most beautiful parts of Vietnam. Ma Pi Liang is also a road connecting Dong Van and Mel Bac in 20 kilometers. One of its side is cliff and the other one is a beast in 500 meters. This ravine is made by Nho Quế River. Landscape here is very superb and makes everyone impressed. It belongs to the Van Cross Plateau and has a completely different view compared to other views in the world because all mountains here are made of limestone. It is very dangerous to go on mountain sides but you may find some Hmong people, a group of ethnic minority of Vietnam living in Ha Zen, improve the land for building their houses and cultivating. Ma Pi Lang is the site in your trip to Ha Zen and Dong Van Cross Plateau. See our post of travel guide to Ha Zen if you have any intention for a visit to Ma Pi Lang Pass.